Good evening. Welcome again to Face to Face. Always interesting to talk residential property. It interests a lot of people, investors as well as people who simply want to live in houses. With me to talk about it is one of the uh, veterans of the industry, Lou Geffen. He is chairman of Sotheby's International Realty South Africa to talk about the local market. Hi, Lou. Hello, David. So you talk in your statement that you put out, uh, and obviously it's a time that you think it's time for a view on the property market. You talk about an early recovery, and what strikes me, property perhaps or residential property more than most, if it crashes as hard as ours did, then you've, you're going to have an oversupply of houses and the prices must come down to a point where people can start getting back. But it's happened a bit earlier than we thought. Well, I'm not sure it's happened a bit earlier than we thought. You know, property, the cycles seem to move in three-year cycles. It's been three years since the market first had its uh, uh, signs of change downwards. Uh, we're nearing the end of that cycle and basically the, the, the last year, the, 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 209, the 209 year, was a good year in property in terms of volumes. Uh, in our group, volumes increased by 46% on the previous year, which were down by 50%. So we're only a couple of percent off where we were in the boom in terms of volume, not in terms of price. Mm. Let's look at uh, some of the reasons for it. You've talked about excess stock in certain capacity, uh, certain categories. Yeah. It seems uh, that would be logical for most categories, uh, that you'd have a bit of surplus. Of yeah, well, I don't know if there's a surplus. Uh, you know, I, must, I must preface this by saying that our company uh, is, a, is a niche company and our average sale price is two million. So when I say that we've increased by 46%, it doesn't reflect on everybody and every price. So in that range, in the two million price range, that, that is a fact. The excess stock, I think, comes from the, uh, the distressed sales in the, in the lower brackets. Mm. There seem to be two reasons uh, to get to the reasons. People feeling financially strapped, whereas there was that optimism in the 80s, growth, uh, mm. the, the, the mid-2000s two, uh, mm. where growth going, and mm. people saying, you know, there's not going to be a, a boom and bust. This is going to boom mm. forever, and people get very confident and perhaps reckless. Uh, so that's one reason why it's been difficult. The other is perhaps just don't want to take on risk. Well, I think it's the credit, the lack of credit, the lack of credit from two ways. A, the National Credit Act, which came in what end of 2007, and the banking policy with regards to loans. They don't, they really are looking at, uh, the, at the lenders quite carefully. And um, if there's any kind of uh, uh, question mark, you're not going to get the loan. Mm. Are we ever going to go back to 100% loans, and in some cases 105 or 110%? You know, David, I would, I would hope not. I would hope that at least there's a 5% equity, because I believe that you need to have a stable property market. And when you, when you overheat the market, you can be sure you're going to create a balloon, and that balloon is going to pop. And if there's a more responsible attitude towards it, you know, in the, in the heady days, you were getting not only your 100%, but you were getting the costs as well. Mm. It was actually 108% at the end of the day. So I would hate to see those days again because it just puts the market out of kilter. You were famously quoted a couple of years ago saying that prices are going to drop by 40-45%, I think the number was, and people said that, that's alarmist and reckless. But given what seemed to be excessive lending, it was inevitable, and I think it happened, didn't it? It did happen, it did happen. I would say on average the prices came down by about 25%, but in certain cases they did come down 40%. Depends on how the people bought. If they bought badly, you'd get a 40% result. What about all that fashion for buying second houses, ho holiday homes as an investment, not necessarily mm. just for holiday? Mm. Has that all been cleared out by the market? Oh, that's been cleared out completely. Uh, uh, that market will come back again when it's de facto that the market has stabilized and that the banks have relaxed their lending policies. Mm. You talked about criteria. Now, on the one hand, the National Credit, Credit Act is there, yes. and it's now a constant. Uh, yes. It has certain conditions which everyone has to abide by. Correct. But the banks, in the end, are going to adapt, aren't they? They're going to relax their sure. criteria again. They're businessmen, and they're out, they're their business is lending money, and that is already happening. In certain cases, 100% loans to the right customers are, is happening, uh, but, but of course very carefully uh, scrutinized. So yeah, I think as the banks start competing with each other, they will we'll reach that environment where we'll probably get 95% loans on average. Mm. I told the story about the bank manager that I spoke to who said in the old days he was rewarded out in the branch for managing risk. In mm. other words, not having bad, bad loans. Mm. And in 2005-06, the same man said he was rewarded for gaining market share. What is the attitude in the banks now? I think very much to the latter. I think that they are rewarded for, for, uh, for, for risk uh, Back to aversion. where it was, in other risk words. Risk aversion, yeah. 
What about that de devolution of power, then the centralization of power? And another comment on the lending was that if the manager sits opposite you and knows you and makes a call on whether you can pay the debt, a lot of it was centralized, a lot of loans were granted to people that actually perhaps didn't even have to go to an interview. Absolutely. So have they gone back to a oh, proper yes, the, personal the, assessment? Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, the, the mechanisms are much stricter and yeah, uh, I would say it's definitely happening. My, and I'm very happy about that. Mm. Another point you make in your statement is that uh, you advise upgrading of properties now. What's, what's behind that? Well, you know, it's always nice to catch the bottom of the market. And I would actually categorically state that this is the bottom of the market. The bloat has gone out of the market. As I said, in some cases 25%, in other cases 40%. Uh, 